Hey guys, so first I want to apologize for this kind of weird angle. I know it's not my usual uh, place and I know I'm kind of close to the camera, but I was feeling bored so I decided to play with makeup. I call it my full fall glam look, it's full face of makeup. Obviously the eyes are super bold. I went really light on the lips. At the end I mentioned that you can kind of do whatever you want if you want full glam. I would say a bold red lip. Um, I'm not exactly sure how that will look, but if that's what you wanna do, then by all means, feel free. So if you wanna learn how I just did this, then keep on watching, thanks. I've already applied an eyeshadow base to my eyelids, so now I'm just adding Max Painterly Paint Pot as a base. Then I'm just taking this matte beige shadow and adding it to my brow bone area. And then I'm taking this neutral pinky color and adding it to my crease to make it easier to blend my shadows. Then I'm taking this medium brown shade and adding it to my crease to give it some depth. I'm also adding this reddish brown shadow to the crease and I'm focusing it on the outer corner. And I'm taking this deep burgundy eyeshadow and adding it to the outer V of my eyelid, dragging it about halfway into the crease. I'm just blending out the reddish brown with the light neutral pink. With my ring finger, I'm taking Maybelline's color tattoo in bold gold and adding it to the empty part of my lid. And of course, this wouldn't be a glam look without Sugar Pill's Goldilocks loose eyeshadow. I'm just patting that right over that color tattoo. On your finger, just take a little bit of glitter base and add it to the gold part of your eyelid. And on top of that base, I'm just patting LA Splash's glitter in sparkling gold. With a little bit of black eyeshadow, just add it to the outer part of the gold eyeshadow and bring it halfway into your crease. And here I just blended it out with the burgundy shade. Here I chose this neutral shimmery shade and I'm adding it as a highlight. Go back and blend it out with a tiny bit of that reddish brown shade. I really don't remember why I added this piece of scotch tape, but I'm just adding the reddish brown, the burgundy, and a little bit of the black to my lower lash line. And to fill the rest in, I'm using that medium shade and I'm adding it to the inner third. Take any black eyeliner of your choice and line your top lash line. Also take a black pencil and line your waterline. I found these lashes in a local store but they're Da Vinci number 138. Mid video review, I'm trying out a sample of Clinique Even Better liquid foundation because I went to Sephora and I got matched by that weird Pantone IQ thing and obviously it was wrong because all the foundations that I got samples for based off of that prediction or reading are extremely too light for me so this one is extremely patchy and uneven it looks disgusting um, if you can see my face off of camera it's really really cakey and I didn't even put that much like literally this is the sample I have there's not much in here I feel like I could pull my face off. It's just nasty. So you can kind of go from here, you know, wherever you think necessary. I'm gonna do like a kind of pinky, really light pinky nude I decided to see what it looked like with red lips so this is super duper glam I would say um, it's not too bad it's a little much I would say just a little bit but I think anyone could pull it off I mean a bold red lip looks beautiful on anyone and so there you go that if you were wondering what it looked like with red lips then this is it I just used NYX deep red lip liner and Stila 
liquid lip color in fiery so you can pick this up at sephora is where i got it so thank you again for watching and i will see you soon